Hi viewers, here we have Dr. Chandrasekhar, Chairperson, Department of Aerospace Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam. Like what type of uh, companies or what type uh, of uh, jobs our whole, uh, students can... Uh, the whole problem is uh, in India, uh, you have only the uh, government-owned or Absolutely. public sector entity, like HAL, HAL okay. ISRO and things like that. They, they have their own limitations because they don't come to private university. Okay, okay. So, uh, whenever there is an advertisement, the student has to apply and uh, get there. Because HL doesn't come to the campus, the yeah, ISRO doesn't come to the campus, uh, who else is there? All these private airline, uh, air companies, are coming up in Bangalore and uh, other places. But they, they are not very attractive to the student because he is, he is, uh, his mindset is something which uh, you know, you, we cannot define. So he is not very comfortable with these uh, small airlines. Uh, like like maybe companies like Airbus and all those would no, be great but, attraction. But, but, uh, they, they don't... Uh, the, the Airbus and uh, General, uh, General uh, Motors and uh, uh, GE, all these are there in, Hyderabad, uh, in uh, Bangalore. But they insist on uh, postgraduate okay. or uh, PhD. So PhDs to a large. And tell me, sir, like uh, most of the students who prefer to get into aerospace or they all want to join NASA. <laughs> I mean, uh, this, is, this is a dream yes. which has to come true for our students. Mm -hmm. What do you think that one should uh, really do when you are as a student of aerospace or do your master's or do your research? How do we reach NASA level, sir? How does our students can reach NASA level? What he should do to uh, be there? Uh, uh, I need some clarification. You are talking in terms of the student being in India being or in, going be, there. Being in India and going and joining in NASA. Uh, that's not a problem. That's not because, a problem. Because uh, you need to do your post-graduation and uh, research okay. in order to look, look at That NASA. is fine. That's fine. Okay. So, what they do is normally B.Tech, uh, as soon as they finish their B.Tech, they go for their master's. Yeah. They go US. abroad, uh, yes. yes. So, they write the GRE and yeah, then... Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, GATE is not uh, recognized no, of course, at, that's for the internationally. Our, uh, Indian universities, Inter it is required. But uh, uh. here, uh, if they want to do their higher studies in India, then there is a lot of opportunities. opportunities. For, uh, if they, provided they get a good GATE score. It is not a question like, uh, how does the internship help? Our students. Okay. Uh, I think all, we are very serious on internship. Yeah, right? yeah, we are what type serious. of internship do they get? We are serious, but uh, I don't think the other organizations are uh, as serious. Okay. Because I'll tell you, uh, I, I, I look, normally I look at where I'm sending the student and uh, send him there. But what by and large, what happens is they just go there yeah. and uh, <laughs> spend the time, 15 days, so they get a certificate, certificate. and they come. Uh, that is not internship, if you, uh, if you ask me. Okay. Uh, they don't get really training, okay. but the ones that do get training, uh, they slog. So it's more like, uh, more like what you call uh, uh, labor. Okay. Free labor. Okay, for them, so for the guy who for, uh, takes for our students guys, for internship. Yes, yes. And tell me, how is the placement, sir? Like, if you look at uh, where, 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 where do they really, okay. how is the placements for we, our students? We talk, Generally, you spoke about those placements for aerospace, yeah. but when it comes to Amrita, yeah. uh, where do you find our students joining and how do they get placed? The, uh, the CIR that we have uh, does a, uh, help a lot. Corporate industry relations. Yes. Uh, the main problem that I told you was this. Uh, government. Uh, government. Yeah. Thing. And the ones that go to private industries, they also, like, there are quite a few in Infosys, there are quite a few in Wipro and things like that. But They also need aerospace engineers? Yeah, but, but they put them on engineering jobs. Okay. 
like, like if I have to prepare a pro program for them, I'll be doing it with respect to uh, applied engineering of aerospace. Things like that are happening. Uh, more more uh, things like this should happen. Then, then uh, I can say my students are uh, well placed. How are our guys maybe into the defense like Indian Air Force do they, oh, are yes. they preferred? They can get the commission into, they can they, write the AFT. They are, they are, uh, there are examples of uh, at least 10 people who have joined the... Uh, oh, that's nice. They're uh, serving the uh, Indian yes, Air Force. Yes. Oh, no, nice. not, not necessarily Indian Air Navy. Force only. Yeah. Navy as well as... Uh, Indian Army. Arm, arm. All right. Maybe Coastal Guards. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no Coastal Guards. Oh. But All the three the wings three, of uh, three Indian, wings. Indian defense. Yeah. So there's an opportunity open for uh, oh, our yes, students yes. to join the yeah, defense services also. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. Are, out of the 240 who have passed out. Okay. Uh, ten of them are already. That's a fairly good uh, representation <laughs> from our institution. Mm -hmm.